This is your market update for Wednesday, March 16th. All right, let's get started with the uh, S&P Cash Daily. And we're still going to remind you that all the moving averages are still on the side of the bears, okay? So we're below the 200, we're below the 50, 5 and 13 are still in a sell mode. You know, the day when we have everything above those, then the market starts to look much better. But right now, we still have to consider the buy side counter trend. And if you're going to look at counter trend trades, you have to be very quick to get the heck out of the way if it doesn't do what you need it to do. Okay. Now, remember that we did have uh, timing factors here for low. Now, they, it came in uh, showing the 15th, 16th as far as the histogram is concerned. And then as far as the um, regular outright cycles, we did have the 14th through the 17th. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cycles coming together. Now, is this definitely a major low? No, not necessarily. But was it made at timing? Yes. Now, what happens though, if we end up um, making a new low after bouncing off, you know, the beginning of, of the window? Well, you still have to look at this for a possible low. Okay, so if even if it makes a new low, then we'll watch that one for a possible reversal still because we still have the grouping of cycles and the time window doesn't actually end until the 18th. But so far, you know, the odds are higher for a reversal to occur into a time window. And so far, yes, we have seen at least the short term reversal within the downtrend. Now, uh, let's see, I believe that the 30 minute charts, yeah, 30 minute chart has triggered. Obviously the 15 minute chart would have triggered. So some of these, you might be taking some of this stuff overnight. Um, so, so far so good. But again, since the moving averages are all on the side of the bears still, then you really want to, um, you know, have stops relatively tight. All right, how about S&P futures daily? Uh, nothing too special here on the daily chart. And as far as the 120 minute chart, let's see, I don't have any new support just yet, but we do have the next resistance decision. We have actually time resistance right here, right now. And the next price resistance area, 4276 to 4284. Uh, after that, don't really have anything until 4315, 4326. Um, this one actually also like, triggered to the buy side, but again, be aware that this time resistance might just give us a pullback and we would want to look at buying the pullback okay so again let's see if it gives it to us i mean what i would do is basically take this prior high to low swing and project it from the high and then also run the retracements so th these will only be good as far as potential support if um yeah you know as long as we don't take out this high so it looks like first meaningful support is really going to be around that symmetry projection 40 to 10 area. Uh, but if we make a new if we make a new high, I do have to recalculate those supports for you. All right, how about um, so the Nasdaq weekly again? I just wanted to uh, show you that we are on top of weekly support. Now it doesn't guarantee that this is going to be a major low, but it is um, support. We have a 618, a 382, and a 1618 extension. And we're holding kind of just on top of that 618 retracement. So we are on top of weekly support NASDAQ. Um, I also found one other projection. Now it took me a while to find it, but you know, since we didn't make this extension, I searched for something else and I did find, you know, one of these, um, I'm not sure which swing it was, but one of these projections, uh, project, no, it might've been the slightly larger one, projected from this high. And that gives us some actual support at that last low. But now the next meaningful decision in NASDAQ is going to be whether or not we can start to clear some of this resistance on the way up. Okay, we have important symmetry resistance, 136.26 to 136.84. Uh, then we have another area at 138.90. But if we can start pushing through here rather than failing, because obviously you can use the resistance for a possible short, you know, whether you're looking at it for a day trade or a swing trade, and, um, you know, well, uh, if we do start to clear some of that stuff, that would be the first indication that the timing could be kicking in for a more important low. 
All right, um, let's take a look at uh, timing factors again have been the 14th through the 17th and we did make a slight new low for the move and the, the low was made on the 14th. So, you know, we're going to consider this low key and pivotal. And be, even if it ends up coming back down, um, as long as we're still within this time window, we're going to anticipate a possible low. All right, how about NASDAQ futures on the daily chart? Yeah, I didn't quite get to that support. I didn't find the same thing there as far as, um, as support, but we're not that far away. 128.85 to 129.02. Actually, the low was made at 129.42, so it wasn't as close as I would like to see, but, um, you know, we do have, uh, we're definitely closer to support decisions there. Now, as far as the 120 minute chart in NASDAQ, we did have, um, let's see, uh, just pretty much an extension, uh, 1618 of this uh, low to high swing. And again, extension is a single level, not uh, an official setup, but there are definitely times where you're gonna get some really awesome moves off of them. So you just have to decide whether or not you're gonna write that up in your trading plan, that it's okay for you to take um, you know, any of the single single levels. But before you do that, you wanna make sure that you're successful with the regular trades, you know, trend trade setups, and also the same thing for counter trend setups. If you're not successful using trend setups, don't try and mess with the counter trend setups, okay? Okay, anyway, um, next decision, it looks like in the overnight session, we're gonna have some resistance to watch, okay? And after all, you know, it's still in a larger downtrend, so areas to watch for a possible fail, 134.94 to 135.08, 135.58 to set, uh, 77, and you know a few other levels on the way up. Just be aware of those because we did have a very healthy move off of okay this low made this morning 544 points. Yeah, nice rally. So anyway, the the idea of the timing cycles is to give you a heads up for for market turns but also a heads up for any positions that you might be in if you run into time resistance, that it's a time to uh, protect your profits. Okay, also 30 minute charts back in a buy mode. Um, IWM, okay, so this wasn't a perfect hit, but I consider this close enough. This 191.20 to 64 area, actual low 191.88, close enough. If that support is any good, let me show you what a potential would be. Um, would be up to this 208.95 area, but let's also look at resistance on the way up. So I'm going to make this just a little bit easier to see. We're going to run the symmetry there. We're going to run the symmetry there. And then you also have a 618 retracement. So very important resistance and a sell setup by itself would be 199.38 to 2.0017 area. Okay, it's kind of a wide zone, but you know what? You're going to wait and see if it tests the zone. And then if it does, then to... Um, watch for a possible uh, possible fail. And as far as the 30 minute chart, um, so we did end up holding the 30 minute chart support very nicely. It was a counter trend buy decision. And you know now is a time where you have to um, definitely trail up stops because we don't know if this is gonna be a more important low where you fully extend to the upside or if this is just maybe, maybe a two step into resistance where you could get another failure I mean, we have to watch that because, again, the pattern is still bearish. And actually, on the 30-minute chart, the moving averages are still bearish. So bottom line, when you get involved in something, just, uh, you know, especially if it's counter trend, just make sure you trail a stop. All right, how about um, the stock charts? Okay, so the only thing we really had in Apple was that one symmetrical projection. Um, and again, not a perfect tip, but close enough. 150.10 versus 150.30. But now comes the tough part. Uh, you know, you're still below the 50, 5 or 13 or still. Sorry, I gotta, you know, I didn't sleep very well. Anyway, um, we had, uh, we have resistance that's showing up here at 156.07. Uh, well, you can probably even look at these individually because Symmetry, you definitely have to watch for possible failures. And this came from, you know, these swings here and this swing over here. Um, and definitely watch for a possible failure. If you did take a counter trend buy, 
ratchet up stops as you move up into those um, areas of resistance. Also remember I had timing. 14th through the 17th, low was made on the 14th. Okay, so that's Apple. And then as far as, you know, 30 minute resistance, there's a fair amount of over, uh, overhead resistance. But what I do like is that you've had the uh, crossover to the upside. It's just micro crossover. We'll see if that, if you get any follow through with that tomorrow. But um, that is a cross and you did take out a prior swing high. How about Amazon? So Amazon, you know, for this, the sell decision here, I mean, that dropped 175 bucks um, from here. And then instead of continuing down, I mean, we looks like we're resuming the rally there. If this last low is any good, our first target is going to be the 1272 or 3041. And it just happens to overlap a 618 retracement of another swing. So that's really what we'd be looking for. But also be aware that the old resistance, since we did not clear it, will still act as possible resistance. Okay, and then as far as Facebook, um, I did have some timing for a low, the 13th, 14th, and the low has been made on the 14th so far. Uh, that is a counter trend decision because, well, we're a little bit short of this uh, support here. Let's see how far away. 185.82. Yeah, let's, no, nope, actually I may have this labeled incorrectly. Okay, 180, well, 185.82. So anyway, not really that close to the um, extension targets, but remember we're going to anticipate the possible reversal. Um, we do have plenty of resistance to watch on the way up. If we do start to get up there, that's when you'd start to watch for, for possible failure. But until then, you know, we had a crossover and we took out a prior swing high on Facebook here on the 30 minute. So you would have also um, gotten a clearer signal on the 15 minute. So what do we do? Well, we look at this next pullback, okay, because we have timing factors. We have the fact that we're clearing, you know, prior swing high and had the moving average crossover. So that's why we want to look for a pullback. Yes, overall it is counter trend, but you know, in, in the short run, you're basically looking at something like maybe risking just underneath these lows after a pullback. Google, I've started running the resistance. We had timing at this last low. Next decision, to fail or not to fail, 2602 to 15. Uh, then we have 28, or sorry, 2638 to 43. A couple of other areas of resistance beyond that. Um, so yes, time and price at this low, but counter trend. So are we gonna be able to clear the resistance or not? And if you don't, and you took a long, how about you trail up your stops? Google on the 30 minute chart also has some um, resistance that we have to watch for a possible failure. This is actually still in a sell mode, but it looks like it's getting close to trying to trigger on the 30. It may have on the 15. As far as Nvidia, okay, so remember we did have one set up here, the symmetry uh, sell setup. You didn't have the full move off of that, but you did have a drop of $20.61. Now your next meaningful decision is really going to be more of this extension here, the 235.84 from this high to this low. That's your typical target. And um, wait a second. Nope, you know what? I think I did something wrong there. Here it is. I have to use this high to this low. Yep, there we go. Okay, so the I gave you the wrong one, 272. And that actually comes in 237.81. Okay, but that's typically what you would look for. Now, that's a typical target, but what else can you see here? Well, I mean, check this out. This is kind of like a potential zigzag pattern if we get up into this area. So that will also be um, this overall area 237.81 to 239.43 that is a um, cell setup. So you know we can watch that for a possible failure if we get there. How about 30 minute chart NVIDIA? Okay so if you had a rally of about 18 bucks so far off of this last low. Uh, you also had the moving average crossover back to the upside. My first target's 237.81, second target 244.94. Tesla, um, a little bit short of that support, but you know I like this the general idea of you know the zigzag pattern. Even though it, it doesn't cluster together all that well, but you know you've got a 7.86, you have the 100%, and you have a 1.618. Okay, not as perfect as I would like it, but I do like that it's holding, and we have timing for a low. 
Okay, let's see. On the 30 minute chart, did we? Yep, we did have a 30 minute chart cross to the upside. Uh, but our next important decision, and we, you know, we're right on top of it right here. So 80, it's anywhere from 805.32 to 812.85. You can break this down into two smaller zones if you wanted to, like 805 to 808, and then 810 to 812, your choice. Um, but bottom line, this is what we're going to need to start clearing if this is indeed a more important low. And then the other thing that we would do is we would set up the pullback. I don't know if that high is going to hold, but you know, you can run, we can run symmetry and we can run some retracements. Yeah, I guess the closest support will be around this 789 to 792 area. Okay, gold. Um, I do still have a time window, 14th, 17th for possible low. We're not on top of any price support yet. We've broken, you know, most of it uh, or quite a bit of it. I uh, don't really have anything until a single couple of single levels down here. And then you have two levels here, 618 and 50%. So not really, it's not really setting up just yet. So you want to be patient, either that or we're going to wait for a, you know, if it doesn't show up on the daily, we'll wait for a higher highs and higher lows on the lower time frame chart and then look at a pullback. So like, for example, while I do have some lower support here on the 120 minute chart on gold, um, but like here, now if you look at this 30 minute chart, it's in a sell mode, bearish pattern, and the 834 is in a sell mode with the eight below the 34, okay? But there's more than one decision here, but which one is favored, okay? It's a downtrend and it's a pattern of lower lows and lower highs. So typically, because you're in the downtrend, you typically look for this on the downside, okay? But because we are in a time window for possible low, we're going to look at this pullback and see if that holds. 1912.70, 1913.40. Now it's not as high probability as, you know, the sell within a downtrend, but, you know, it is something that you can look at because of the time window that we're in for the possible low. Then as far as crude, I don't have the next levels being tested just yet. All I really have is this 91.64 to 92.30. That's, they're not even close to each other. Um, another 618 retracement down at this 90.45 area. I do have timing for a possible tradable low between the 14th, 17th. Uh, don't really see indications of that just yet. 120 minute chart, still bearish. Uh, does have some lower support that we're not near. With the 30 minute chart, uh, we just went through that symmetry. So 30 minute chart is still in a sell mode. So um, I don't have a I don't have a resistance set up on this time frame just yet. But the only thing that you would, could look at here that's counter trend. And again, it's not even an official setup. It's just the 786 retracement. But there are definitely times where you will have single retracements that will have uh, value. Uh, but, you know, I mean, a lot of them you can look at, but I don't think that the 382 or the 50% is too exciting uh, by itself. All right, let's see. Yep, and that's pretty much it. Any of the extra charts I will go over with you tomorrow, and I will uh, see you then.